All right, guys. I told y'all we're gonna go dig today, and uh, we actually got out. Me and my buddy Clayton. He's down in the hole right now, so he's got a few bottles showing. We found a few things, not a whole lot yet, but we're just now getting to where we're starting to get into the ash line. We got a uh, couple of common medicines. We got a Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. We also dug an Eagle brand shoe polish. He has dug a Garrett Wine Company bottle. It actually has an eagle on it, which is pretty neat. You can't really see the embossing because it's not cleaned up yet. Uh, let's see, what else did we dig? We dug, dug a nice Bromo right here. He's got another one that he's digging out right now. I'm gonna get down in the hole in just a second. Where we're at right now, I wanna say we're about nine foot. I mean, it's uh, pretty far down there. It's a pretty deep hole. What do you, what do you got right there? Just a shard. So he's gonna uh, he's gonna dig out these two bottles in just a second live on the camera after he gets them a little further out. The ground's really hard here. Uh, this place has been being dug since the 80s. Uh, over here on my left, you can't really tell, but they actually had a bobcat in there at one point, and everybody stopped digging about right here. So we come and popped a hole just to the edge of where they stopped to see what would come up. Uh, we have found two straight side cokes. The tops were broke off of them, an Alicola with a top broke off of it, and a Deacon Brown Company with a top off of it. I'm hoping that that's not a sign that all the sodas are broke, but uh, we'll, we'll find out here in a second. All right, well, I'm going to get down in the hole, and I'll show you all the layers of the ash I was talking to you about whenever I get down there. All right, I jumped down in the hole now. I'm going to give you all the, the hole one, two on the steps here. You can see where I'm pointing right here. From here up is topsail. We're kind of in an industrial park, and I believe when they built the buildings that they covered the top with uh, where they scraped the foundation out. Below it, you got two foot of yellow clay. It goes from here to about here. That's the cap layer that they capped the dumps with. And then right below it is where your ash line starts. So here's your ash line starting right here, and it goes down. All right. Right here, we had a bottom of something come out. But right now, he has a bottle exposed right here. We're hoping it's a blood, blood wine but not sure it may just be a beer it looks like it's got a nice air bubble right there uh, and it looks like he has a bromo sticking out of the hole right here uh i'm gonna and well there's a bottom to a medicine there and a bottom there so i'm gonna back up and I'm gonna let him dig them out y'all bear with us because this ground is hard still solid yep funny the seam of bottles here is actually running high compared to what I'm used to I'm used to digging sodas and stuff off the bottom and Brahmos and here they're at the top and at the bottom it seems to be primarily medicines which is a little weird but we'll take what we can get we actually been out here since about daylight this morning so there's another one coming out right there oh, there's another one so he's in a good seam he's got about five bottles showing uh, hopefully at least a couple of them are embossed and whole and whole yeah we'll we'll take both <laughs> oh, that's he found a really cool sample bottle all ago, a three and one. Oh. oh, it was busted. It was a blood wine though. Birmingham. A Birmingham blood wine. God, God. I should have. We'll show y'all the embossing on the front of that. It, was, it had a pressure crack in it too on the back. It would have been a nice bottle though. We were hoping that it was a blood wine. I mean, that would have been real nice. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Looks good though. It's right. promising. Let's see if that Brahma will come out. Maybe Not no. yet. You have to chisel on it a little bit. I recommend these garden rakes that you see that we have. They work really well. Uh, some dumps are a lot, so lot softer than this one. They work better in them, but it works well to keep from breaking stuff. You'll hear it drag across it, and the bottle will actually squeak a little bit. And let you know that it's all right. Hey, look at there. Yeah, looks like that's a nice Brahma. Yep. Yep. Looks good. Looks whole. We'll take uh, Cobalt Bromos all day for sure. We'll set that up there. I can't believe I broke that. Uh, it might have been broke from us chiseling down in here. We literally had to use a pickaxe to get down into this hole. No lie, the, the top layer of iron was ridiculous. It was like they had laid a mattress in here, and there was springs and steel everywhere. I mean, it took a lot to get it out. Looks like a broke side to another soda bottle right there, isn't it? Yep. 
This stuff's once uh, you're in it, you're in it. Yep, no this doubt. Stuff's coming out. I'm gonna pause for just a second. I'll come back whenever we start to get these bottles out. To give you an idea how deep we are, I'm six foot. You can kind of see the wall behind me. So, like I said, I think we're about eight, eight and a half foot right now. Uh, we just dug the top of that bottle that I was telling you about a while ago, and it was actually broke off. It looks like he has a flask showing right now, and maybe another medicine. Uh, we'll give him just a second, though. Like I said, this ground's ridiculous hard. That's the way they are. If you got something good, dust warm me. We're pulling out uh, tops right now. You see, in this in this dump, they still have the rubber seal around them, which is pretty Where's weird. He's just uncovered the bottom of another bottle. Ooh, that one looks good too. Man, I think That's he's an older soda. I think he's got a good seam going right here. I'm I'm getting excited. I'll let you down here in a minute. No, you're good. I brought Clayton out here about two weeks ago, and he thought I was just putting him through torture. <laughs> Made him dig a nine-foot hole, and we only, we only found like two embossed bottles. And I was like, well, I was like, we put in the work today. We'll come back, and we'll finish it up another time. So we actually came out today, and we uh, we had two other guys helping us last time, my buddy Zach my dad. And uh, they bailed today. They'll be sad if we pull out a couple more bottles if they didn't come. <laughs> come on out. Here comes the bigger bottle right here. Let's see what it is. Nope. Just, a just a jar. You never know until you try. That's true. Right, we'll get back whenever he's digging the other one out. This good color medicine just came out. He's still got three showing, so I'll come back in just a second when he gets some out. Not sure if any of y'all watch uh, Oak Island on the History Channel, but we jokingly this morning called this hole 10X because of the depth. We dug to the bottom this morning, and it was like we hit a... Uh, like a never-ending water stream coming out of the sidewall it actually filled the entire hole up with water so uh, we're not on bottom we're a little above it because we had to fill back in to be able to stand in here without being deep in mud we're, we're it was about ankle deep a while ago whenever we started so it's uh it's getting gradually better as we rake the ash down in there thank god he's working on this flask right here we're hoping it's embossed usually though around here your flasks are never embossed and if you find one that is it's a good one Got a broke plate right on top of it. It's loose. There it went. Oh, top's gone. Thought it had a paper label. Yeah, it did have. And that's another thing about this dump is there's paper labels on all this stuff, and you can still see it. It's crazy that it's still you're still able to see the label on it after a hundred years. Because I'm pretty sure that's probably pre-1920, wouldn't you say, Clayton? Probably so. So, I mean, you're talking about a 100-year-old paper label buried eight foot under the ground and it's still there. That's impressive to me. We can actually see the embossing on the side of the right bottle down there on the bottom. It's a Riola. It's not a really rare bottle, but it is a soda bottle. Another, another uh, unembossed medicine. Clayton's thing got down in here and got muddy. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> Let's see what this roller looks like. Really hoping that the shoulder's still on it. We've had bad luck in this hole with the shoulders being gone, but what we'll see here in just a second. He's real close. It's still solid, isn't it? I'm probably going to turn this into a two episode YouTube video just because of it being 10 minutes. So y'all bear with me. I'm going to end it here in about a minute, and then I'll come back with a second one if we get on a better seam here in a minute. It looks like this seam's starting to run out. goes let's see Gentle. oh, oh this, hole. this hole how about that has it at the bottom and it is from Birmingham that so a decent looking bottle yep that's our uh, that's our first whole soda out of here we've had a couple of beer bottles and wine bottles but that's the first whole soda so that's a good sign I will uh I'll get back with y'all like I said in a second episode of this